Well, I'm going to talk a little bit today about our spore trapping project. So this right here is a Spornado passive spore collection uh, unit. So basically what it does is it just sits here in the field. As the wind blows through it, there's a little capsule in each of them. I'll just pop it out here for a second. Really simple to use. So just pop this capsule out. And this is what it looks like. This has been in for about a week. So we'll, we'll bring it and we'll get it tested real soon here. Oops. Easy to slip back in, just pops right in. So that sits out in the field, that collects all the spores that are, that are moving through here for about a week. We send it in and they do a DNA test, which has a 24 hour turnaround and they'll tell us whether or not we have um, spores for, for Fusarium head blight um, present. Uh, we, we also have fields that we're doing in canola and white bean or canola and dry beans for sclerotinia and white mold as well. So yeah, they, I mean with that one hour or with that one day turnaround, it's something that producers may be able to use to make decisions on application of fungicide. I think a lot of times fungicide is applied prophylactically. It's sort of a preventative, it's part of the part of the system, but this might be something that helps us make better decisions. So think of the, the disease triangle. We have the host, the pathogen, and the environment. Well, this tells us whether or not we have the pathogen. And we have a weather station in every field as well. Uh, so this unit here, it's collecting information on rainfall, information on temperature, relative humidity. So that kind of helps us understand the environment a little bit. So that's another piece to that disease triangle. So if we do have the pathogen, we do have, say, wetter conditions, humid conditions. Um, that might be an indicator that, that we might want to um, invest in, in fungicide. So it might be something that, that helps us you know, reduce our, our fungicide inputs, maybe be more, make better decisions on it. Uh, so yeah, so that's, we've, we have six fields this year, two wheat fields, two bean fields, two canola fields. They're all under irrigation, and that gives us a, a better opportunity to to see disease develop. Um, each field we've chosen three locations in. So we do, we've, we don't really know how well these work. The, the, the test is, is, is binary. It's either trace levels detected, detected or not detected. So it doesn't tell us how much. It's a, so I guess you would call it a, a qualitative test. So we're putting one trap on the edge of the field, one in a low risk area. And then in this field, this is our low risk area. It's on the top of a hill. It gets lots of air movement. And then I don't know if the camera can see just down the hill there, we've got one in a low spot. And so we have our, our, we have a spore trap down there in our low spot. So that's a more high risk area. We might have a more dense plant stand, more moisture, more humidity, um, possibly a higher risk of having those spores present and, and disease develop. So, so by having these three locations, it's going to help us um, better understand how, how we can use this practically as a tool um, to help guide our, our fungicide inputs. We do want the spore trap to be six inches to a foot above the, above the crop canopy. So if, if the crop starts getting above that spore trap, uh, then it's not really going to be able to collect the spores. So as the crop grows, we kind of raise it up as we go. Um, that helps it, yeah, do an effective job of, of collecting those spores. Um, you can see all the, these pollinator tents here. So this is a seed canola field. And so one of the things that we've done, um, and this year, you know, with getting a lot of moisture, a lot of the fungicide applications have been aerial applications because it's been real tough, pretty wet to, to get into the fields. So in order to have a check, you know, a, a small area that has been untreated by the fungicide, we've been hauling um, our own custom tents in and out um, to certain spots. So we know there's a few check areas that have not been sprayed by, by fungicide at all. So that's going to allow us to determine whether or not disease would have developed had fungicide not been applied. So that's going to be another piece that helps us understand, you know, the utility of this, this tool. So